F N A F C R A F T E R S from Nef Crafters. Hello, what is up, fellow crafters? My name is Toy is Minecrafter One, and welcome back to yet another theory series video. And if you guys just watched my last video, you guys would know that I was going to talk about some theories I had about this message to create a light to us and a few others. But anyways, let's jump straight into this. But before we do, please, please do um consider subscribing and um click it and tap that notification bell so that way you know every single time a new video is uploaded by this channel. Guys, if we can't 25 to 30 subscribers before the end of the month, that would be absolutely amazing. And I will even do a subscriber special. And if I can figure out how to do a giveaway, I will do a giveaway. But anyways, today's shout out goes to Teach Beach. But anyways, um, here we go. So the creator lied to us. What does this mean? Who wrote it? Why did they write it? Well, let's look at what we know already about the message. It's on a wall in chapter one. That's all we know. That's literally all we know. So, here's my, like, little theory on it. It could be Bendy, but then you get, um, if you guys watched my first video, you know that I have a theory that Bendy is Joey Drew. So, if this is, um, in fact... If Bendy is, in fact, Joey Drew, then why would Joey or Bendy write this? Maybe before, maybe on um, the cartoons were brought into the 3D dimension, were brought into this world through the power of the ink machine, and, um, we, um... Basically, and they were probably promised before they became the, before the humans possessed them or whatever. But anyways, the creator lied to us. I feel as if, I have a theory that maybe the cartoons were promised happiness and he, the humans were probably thinking, were probably promising each other and themselves eternal happiness and, uh, and eternal life and stuff. And then, you know, they, it didn't turn out that way. And they actually, um, and they got turned, and basically they're lied to. So who is the creator? Who's the creator in this? Who's the creator? I, people would say, oh, it's Joey Drew. Oh, it's Sammy Lawrence. Oh, it's Wally Franks. Oh, it's blah, blah, blah. No, I feel as if it's Henry. Henry, the character you play as. Because if you guys listen to a secret audio, which I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And uh, I don't know how loud this is. Um, I was kind of doing like a little sample test. But anyways, if you guys' ears hurt, uh, Please do let me know in the comment section down below. Roast me, whatever. And, um, uh, I probably, hopefully, I'm going to be seeing Spirit Trek Craft 2 and Gold Freight Craft 3 soon. And me and that will definitely be making at least a couple videos together. And then I'll upload them, like, throughout the week and stuff. But anyways, let's listen to this audio. Only two weeks into this company, and already it's gotten interesting. Joey is a man of ideas. And only ideas. When I agreed really to start this whole thing with him, I thought there'd be a little more give and take. It's still like here, or a little empty takes. I haven't even seen Linda for days now. Still, someone has to make this happen. When in doubt, just keep going, Henry. On the plus side, I've got a new character that I think people are going to love. Done. There. On the plus side. I've got a new character I think people are going to love. Bendy. B-E-N-D-Y. Bendy. 
do you guys understand this yet? Because think about it. <sighs> guys, I didn't mean to yell at you, but seriously. But, um, uh, basically, there's proof right there that Henry is the creator. That bottom paragraph on the plus side. I've got a new character. A new character. Just those three words. Is all the proof I need. To be convinced that Henry was the creator. Is the creator. But now you're probably wondering. How does this connect to the phrase. The creator lied to us. You guys are probably wondering. How does that connect to that? Well, what if. The rituals to appease the gods, as Joey puts it. What if he used those... What if Henry left the second those rituals started? And he probably promised Joey... Well, no. Oh, my God. Basically, what if Joey made the ink machine... And told Henry's plan, and Henry said, and it, and Henry agreed it to it, and then eventually just, um, he just kind of gave up and left after prophecy Joey, you know, that he would have eternal life and all that crap, and all that crap. Um, but then there's more sayings as well, if we go upwards. Um, there's who's laughing now. All right, let's go over this saying now. Who's laughing now? I personally feel as if it would be, um, um, you would think... At once chapter 3 was released, we found out that Alice killed so many Borises to make herself perfect. And, um, but, like I said in my Who is Alice Angel Theory video, I said that Boris might be Wally Franks. And if you guys listen to the audio recordings, you would know that Sammy hates Wally. So when Sammy was brought back to life through the ink machine and um, brought and Wally Frank just brought, brought back his Boris, I can easily see uh, and Wally used to think everything was funny and all that. So Sammy probably killed Boris and put Who's Laughing Now on the wall. And there are some people who think that Sammy is Boris. Guys. Seriously? How could Sammy be Boris? I'm sorry, but how could... If you think about how long it takes for Sammy... Between the time that Sammy dies to Bendy in Chapter 2 to the time that you see Boris at the end of Chapter 2... Gotta think about this. How could Sammy just grow Boris' snout, get all that white on him, get the clothing on, and everything, within like the few, I don't know, minute or two it takes you to get? And how does he even get to Boris's location, huh? Explain that one to me. Because Boris can't just teleport through walls. Duh! But, yeah, I feel as if Sammy wrote this Who's Laughing Now saying. Anyways, there's even more saying, so we can't forget that. There's, he will set us free. Sammy Lawrence. Sammy Lawrence, guys. Sammy freaking Lawrence. He will set us free. It's basically, I'm guessing, you know ink, or whatever the heck, that Sammy just put all over the walls of the studio, trying to worship Bendy, 
saying that Bendy will set them free from their inky, dark abysses they call bodies, as he puts it. And then it's time to believe easily Sammy Lawrence again. It's time to believe in God, guys. It's time to believe in... This is basically what Sammy is saying with this. It's time to believe. It's time to believe in Bendy, guys. It's time to believe in our, our God here. You know, the Ink Devil. Don't ever worship the underground, guys. Always worship the clouds. Always worship the clouds. Unless... You want to be like Sammy. But if you guys are awesome, you guys would know that you should try worship worshipping Alice over Bendy. Because Alice is an angel. Bendy is a demon. And then, our last scene of the video. Hold on. Wait. Dreams come true. Easily, I feel as if Joey Drew slash Bendy wrote this one. Saying that after Joey was recreated through the ink machine as Bendy, he wrote, Dreams come true. Because, you know, Joey probably wanted to feel a closer connection to his cartoons. He wanted eternal life and all of that. And his dreams came true. So, dreams come true. But the question is, is... Why would they write all this? Why would they write all this? Like, are they trying to scare Henry away or what? It's really odd. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please do consider dropping a like on the video right now. Let's try to hit 30 likes and uh, there will definitely be more videos just like this. But anyways, uh, by the way, guys, look at the channel now. Look at that cover art. Look at our profile picture. I mean, come on. And, um, yeah. And I definitely will be uploading parts two and three, three and four of the Blacklight special. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. Be prepared for that. And there is just so many videos I want to do. It's just that I don't have the time. And yes, that disturbing thumbnail for Slutty Tubbies is now gone. Thank freaking God. But yeah, if you guys would like to see a reaction video, I don't know, tomorrow or later night, um, remember to let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways, this is Bodycraft1 signing off.